The fiery clash between the eccentric billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk and the World Economic Forum is no secret. Musk, the unstoppable force behind Tesla and SpaceX, is leaving no stone unturned in expressing his utter disdain for the global establishment. With an unparalleled determination, he's making his stance unequivocally clear to those who may not be familiar with his electrifying views. What's actually going on? Today we dive deep into the reason behind Elon Musk's shocking statement about the world's most powerful club. But first, if you're as fascinated by thought-provoking discussions as we are and want to keep up with the latest news regarding Elon Musk, please make sure to hit that subscribe button below and never miss relevant news again, because when it comes to Elon Musk, just remember, Elon Musk knows. <laughs> Elon Musk, the prominent entrepreneur and CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, is known for his active engagement on Twitter, where his tweets often make headlines and generate widespread discussion. One of his recent notable tweets was related to the World Economic Forum. In a flurry of tweets, the newly appointed head of Twitter shared his unvarnished opinions on the prestigious World Economic Forum. With an electrifying tone, Musk has launched a relentless verbal assault, unleashing his unfiltered thoughts on this global powerhouse. Yes, it's true. Musk pulls no punches as he boldly declares that the World Economic Forum is morphing into what he calls an unelected world government. With an air of excitement, Musk insists that nobody desires this emerging global authority. As we all know, every year the world gathers for the renowned conference known as the World Economic Forum, where global issues ranging from the impact of technology on security to other pressing matters take center stage. The Swiss ski resort town of Davos becomes the epicenter of a high-profile gathering that attracts heads of state, influential business leaders, cultural icons, and representatives from international organizations. This prestigious event, although its tangible outcomes may remain uncertain, is dedicated to addressing urgent global concerns ranging from climate change in economic volatility to geopolitical tensions and public health crises. While hundreds of public sessions are scheduled to discuss these pressing issues, the four-day conference is equally renowned for its discreet backroom meetings and the behind-the-scenes negotiations that often lead to significant business deals. This year, they also boasted a list of impressive attendees including CEOs, heads of state, finance ministers, central bank ministers, trade ministers, and foreign ministers. In the heart of this electrifying gathering, a captivating video clip emerges igniting the curiosity of attendees and onlookers alike. It showcases none other than Klaus Schwab, the visionary founder and esteemed chairman of the World Economic Forum, unveiling a concept that promises to revolutionize our very perception of collaboration, the awe-inspiring global collaboration village in the boundless realm of the metaverse. Klaus Schwab expresses his belief that people should place their faith in this new venture as he perceives a waning interest in traditional political institutions. He underscores the trustworthiness of this futuristic endeavor by highlighting the involvement of Interpol, a renowned international organization dedicated to finding solutions and taking action on the world's most critical challenges. Schwab invites us to embrace the audacious concept of the Global Collaboration Village, a virtual utopia nestled within the vast expanse of the metaverse. With every word, Schwab ignited a spark of excitement, fueling our imaginations with the limitless possibilities that lie ahead. He mentioned that in this incredible journey, we have the power to conquer global challenges and bring our shared dreams to life. It's a simple yet profound concept that allows us to work together and make our ideas flourish in the most amazing ways. In his speech, Klaus Schwab subtly acknowledged the growing disillusionment with traditional political establishments and their ability to bring about meaningful change. However, he also introduced a revolutionary concept, the Global Collaboration Village. This groundbreaking initiative has the power to restore our faith in humanity's collective potential to create a better future. It's a simple yet profound idea that can guide us towards a brighter tomorrow. Fascinating, right? Also, Schwab's reference to Interpol further enhances the credibility of this ambitious project. Now, guess what? After watching the thought-provoking video that shed light on the World Economic Forum's grand ambitions for the metaverse, it didn't take long for Elon Musk to chime in. Known for his outspoken nature, Musk took to Twitter to share his candid thoughts on the matter. In a concise yet impactful tweet, he wrote, quote, WEF is increasingly becoming an unelected world government that the people never asked for and don't want. Musk's tweet clearly conveys his profound disappointment with the trajectory the World Economic Forum appears to be taking. But 
But Musk's criticism didn't end there. Just a few days earlier, he took to the same platform to openly question the very existence of the World Economic Forum and its annual Davos conference. In a tweet that exuded a hint of incredulity, he pondered, quote, How is WEF slash Davos even a thing? Are they attempting to assume the role of Earth's ultimate authority? The sheer candor of his words reflect his enduring dissatisfaction and skepticism towards this gathering of global elites and influential figures. And let's be honest, many of us can't help but wonder and question the significance and influence of such high-profile events, right? Fueling the fire even further, Musk decided to conduct a poll on Twitter tapping into the power of his millions of followers. He posed a simple yet provocative question, should the World Economic Forum control the world? By opening the floor to public opinion, Musk aimed to highlight the fundamental issue at hand, the concentration of power and influence in the hands of an unelected few. The poll itself became a platform for individuals worldwide to express their own frustrations and reservations about the growing influence of organizations like the World Economic Forum. As of now, a whopping 85.9% of respondents have said no. Can you believe that? These series of actions and statements made by Musk are not isolated incidents. They're a part of a long-standing narrative. Musk's disappointment with the World Economic Forum has been evident for years. In fact, the billionaire entrepreneur has a history of expressing his disdain for this prestigious gathering. Looking back just a year ago, we find Musk dismissing the World Economic Forum with a touch of humor, branding it as boring. In a tweet that displayed his characteristic candor and wit, Musk shed light on his decision to decline the invitation to Davos, the annual conference hosted by the World Economic Forum. He clarified that his choice was not driven by a belief in diabolical scheming or nefarious intentions on the part of the World Economic Forum. Rather, he straightforwardly stated, quote, My reason for declining the Davos invitation was not because I thought they were engaged in diabolical scheming, but because it sounded boring AF. In yet another tweet that captured attention, he suggested a hypothetical game show, playfully titled 4chan or Davos, who said it? This tweet demonstrated Musk's disapproval of the concept of environmental social governance, also known as ESG, specifically taking aim at the S in ESG, which typically stands for social. In a tongue-in-cheek manner, he proposed that S should stand for satanic rather than social. Talk about throwing a curveball into the mix. Now here comes the kicker, the world's most exclusive club. The World Economic Forum has made a surprising statement regarding Elon Musk. According to Jan Zopf, a spokesperson for the organization, they haven't actually invited the Tesla CEO to their prestigious annual gathering in Davos, Switzerland for quite some time. In fact, the last time Musk received an invitation was way back in 2015. Now, here's where things get interesting. It's a bit unclear whether this is a deliberate snub from the global nonprofit for elites, or if it's actually Elon Musk who's been declining their invitations. Zopf mentioned that in the past, Musk has turned down a few invitations that were sent his way. It is obvious that after Jan Zopf's revelations about Elon Musk and the World Economic Forum, things have gotten even more intriguing. Neither Musk nor the World Economic Forum has responded to Fox Business's request for comment. It's quite the silence from both parties involved, leaving us eager for any additional insights they may provide. It's truly a spectacle to behold the playful banter between Elon Musk and the World Economic Forum. While Musk takes delight in teasing the organization, the World Economic Forum prides itself on being an esteemed platform for public-private cooperation, bringing together influential lenders across various domains to shape global agendas. The stark contrast between Musk's lighthearted approach and the World Economic Forum's serious undertakings adds an extra layer of intrigue to this captivating story. As we observe these interactions unfold, we can't help but wonder how they will impact future engagements between Musk and the WEF. It's a battle of wit and differing perspectives, and the outcome holds the potential to shape the discourse surrounding global initiatives and the role of influential figures. What are your thoughts on this clash of ideas and the concept of a centralized world government? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated with more exciting content. We'll see you next time.